as you have seen in the video that and also Ambassador Dahinden has already mentioned that we have a fairly comprehensive and large program of rural development, particularly poverty alleviation in Bangladesh. Now, most uh, organizations, NGOs, tend to be small, tend to remain small, and it's the common wisdom that small is beautiful. But we felt that remaining small and beautiful won't serve the interest of Bangladesh, poor of Bangladesh. We need it to be large and impactful. We want it to have an impact on the poverty situation of our nation. So we designed our program to scale up. But before we scaled up programs, we always started small, tested for effectiveness, so we, want, we wanted to be effective. And then once we were quite sure that we were effective, effective in what we are trying to do, we wanted to be efficient. Once we were effective and efficient, then we could scale up the program nationally. And then all BRAC's programs started small and then we scaled them up. So when we started our school, primary school, non-formal primary schools, we started with only 22 schools to test out a model. Once we felt that it worked well, then we started scaling up. But scaling up also needs different uh, uh, developments in the sense that you need to be able to develop your training capacity, so to, to train large numbers of people. So once we had 35,000 teachers trained, we needed to have large num fairly large numbers of training centers. We bring all our teachers to have a refresher course one day every month. So you, we need to have capacity to be able to uh, able to achieve that by creating infrastructure for doing that. You need to develop management. You need to develop monitoring systems, research, a continuous research and innovation that needs to be there. So we, over the years, we have been able to be fairly successful in implementing national programs nationally in health, education, and economic development of the poor. In 2002, BRAC first uh, responded to the needs of the Afghans when three million refugees started trekking back from Pakistan and Iran. And we've, it reminded me of the time that we, we had seen 10 million refugees coming from India into Bangladesh. And so we decided to respond to the needs of Afghan people. So once we went there, we saw similar sites, the country devastated by war, um, high mortality of children, low income, poor infrastructure, and uh, uh, short lifespan and low income. So we thought that BRAC could very effectively implement some of the things that we have learned in Bangladesh we could replicate in Afghanistan. But then we had problems. Not many southern NGOs has gone to in the help uh, in other countries in the south. The donors didn't quite believe that we could transplant a Bangladesh program into Afghanistan. So we had, we sought permission from the government of Bangladesh to take $200,000 out of Bangladesh into Afghanistan. And the process of getting permission to transfer $200,000 from Bangladesh to, in hard currency to another country was almost about as easy as getting a mortgage loan from a bank today. 
So we um, managed to do that. And once we have been able to uh, start microfinance program and our education program, we started, uh, we felt that most of the needs, most of, most of our programs were quite replicable in Afghanistan with minor adaptations. We felt the needs and aspirations and dreams of poor people are basically the same every, everywhere. We found the similar kind of response from our programs in Afghanistan. And that gave us a self-confidence that maybe BRAC's program could also be replicated in other countries. And then uh, opportunities came after the Indian tsunami to go to Sri Lanka, and we followed it up with going to Africa in Tanzania, Uganda, and later Southern Sudan. And we have this year registered ourselves in Liberia and Sierra Leone. And we hope to respond to the needs of African poor people in Africa the way we have tried to do in Bangladesh. But I wanted to thank Hilton Foundation for giving us this award. This $1.5 million is extremely valuable to Brack. I tell you the reason for it. We are right now trying to raise $74 million to expand our microfinance program in Uganda, Tanzania, and Southern Sudan, these three countries. And our shore bank, our, the bank which is trying to arrange this loan from various banks and financial institutions institutions who are lending this money to us, they had a conditionality that BRAC needs to have at least 15% of the portfolio itself. In, in other words, we needed to have this 15% of our own funds in it before others would get money to us. So although we, Tanzania and Uganda, we could meet, meet that requirement, we had found it rather difficult to raise another couple of million dollars for southern Sudan. So we needed that money very uh, urgently. And when we heard that the Hilton Foundation is going to give us $1.5 million, we thought we have made it. We can now be, have, have, can have access to this $74 million loan fund. So thank you very much, Stephen Hilton. Thank you. Thank you very much for this wonderful prize, and I think you have leveraged for us and for the poor people of Africa a fairly substantial sum of money to be able to, for us to be able to provide financial assistance to large numbers of poor people. And I thank all of you very much um, for this honor. BRAC is grateful to the Hilton Foundation, and we in BRAC would uh, cherish this honor uh, bestowed on us tonight. Thank you.